we were talking earlier this year and you said, uh, hey, maybe ChatGPT 4.0-like moment for self-driving was coming. Where do you, how do you feel about it right now? And I, I guess you made a lot of predictions on it over the years, um, but it, it does feel like it's getting pretty close. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's very close to, uh, you know, being in a situation where even if there's no human oversight or intervention, that the probability of a uh, safe journey is, is higher with FSD and no supervision, like even if you're asleep in the car, than if the person is driving. Um, we were very close to that. Uh, you know, those that have the uh, FSD beta, which really anyone can get at this point, um, my, the, the miles we see driven under the FSD beta currently are uh, much safer than the miles that are driven without it. Hmm. So um, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's already a, a very good milestone. Um, but, but, you know, if you, you can just see that it's getting better and better. Like, um, if, you see, if, you see, if you compare the uh, you know, FSD beta today versus six months ago versus, not, you know, a year ago versus 18 months ago, it's really, the improvement is dramatic. Yeah. Um, and um, you know, we've got the final piece of the puzzle, which is to have the control part of the car uh, transition from about 300,000 lines of C++ code to uh, also a neural network. So the, you know, the whole system will be neural net, uh, neural network. Um, photons in to controls out. And, and, and that, that, that's kind of the final piece of the puzzle for Full self driving being significantly better than human. 